right now if I want. Is it nothing, Mrs. Morshnik? Oh my god, you would not believe the amount of stuff I got. Good morning, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Not that we've had a customer. Who has customers when you're at a flower shop on Skid Row? I'm sorry. Seymour, what is going on back there? Very little, Mrs. Morshnik. Audrey, you'd better go and check and see what he's. Audrey, where'd you get that shiner? Shiner? Oh, honey, that no good boyfriend of yours been beating up on you again? Look, I know it's none of my business, but I'm starting to think that maybe he's not such a nice kind of boy. You don't need nice boys when you live on Skid Row, Mrs. Mushnick. I got those plates for potting for you, Mrs. Seymour, look what you've done to the inventory. Don't yell at Seymour, Mrs. Mushnick. Hi, Audrey. You look radiant today. Is that new eye makeup? I'll clean it up before any of the customers get here. Well, that ought to give you plenty of time. My God, what an existence I've got. Misfit employees, bums on the sidewalk, business is lousy. My life is hell. You, urchins, off the stoop. Ain't it bad enough I got winos permanently decorating the storefront? Like I need six worthless ragamuffins to complete the picture. Oh, we ain't bothering nobody, are we, Crystal? No, we're not, Ronette. You ought to be in school. We're going to split shit. Right. We went to school too in the fifth grade. Then we split. <laughs> How do you intend to better yourselves? Better ourselves? Miss, when you from Skid Row, there ain't no such thing.
Don't bother coming in tomorrow. You don't mean... You can't mean. What? What don't I mean? I mean I'm closed. Forget it. Kaput. You can. Kaput. I am closing this god and customer for second shop. Mrs. Morshnik, forgive me for saying so, but has it ever occurred to you that maybe what the firm needs is to move in a new direction? What Seymour's trying to say, Mrs. Morshnik, is, well, we've talked about it, we both agree. Seymour, why don't you run in back and bring out that strange and interesting new plan you've been working on? You see, Mrs. Morshnik, some of those exotic plants Seymour has been tinkering around with are really unusual, and we were both thinking that maybe some of those strange and interesting plants, prominently displayed and advertised, would attract business. I'm afraid it isn't feeling very well today. There. Now, isn't that bizarre? At least. What kind of a weirdo plan you got there, Seymour? I don't know. I think it's some kind of flight trap or something, but I haven't been able to identify it in any of my books. So, I gave it my own name. I call it an archery tube. After me? Oh, you don't mind. You see, ma'am, if you put a strange and interesting plant like this here in the window, maybe. Maybe? Maybe what? You think that because we have a strange and interesting new plant in the window doesn't mean that customers are suddenly just going to walk right in? Mark, that is a <laughs> strange and interesting plant. <laughs> what do you call it? It's an Audrey too. I have never seen anything like it before. Where'd you get it? Well, you remember that total eclipse of the sun a couple of weeks ago? I was walking by the wholesale flower district and I and I passed by this place where the old Chinese man. Sometimes sounds like weird things I can cut it. It's 
He's been giving me trouble. The Audrey Two is not a healthy gal. Strictly between us, neither is the Audrey One. <laughs> if only I knew what breed it is, what genus. But it's nowhere in the books. Well, if I were you, Carl Lord, I'd figure it out. Figure it out fast. Look what that little beauty did for our business. I know. The whole farm is counting on you. I know. You do? I do. So fix. Good night. But I've been going through this with you for weeks. Grow and will spurt and flop. Or you're a sickly little plant, or you're just plain stubborn. What is it you want? What is it you need? I've given you sunshine. I've given you dirt. You've given me nothing. If I try to get right, I'm begging you sweetly. I'm down on my knees. So With levels of moisture from desert to mud. I've given you products, mineral supplements. What do you want from me? What? Ouch. Yeah, the roses, they're thorns. What's he mean? Hey, you opened up to me. What made you do that? I'm 
three more radio interviews lined up for tomorrow, and the Skid Row Herald Examiner was mentioned. If I had a mama, she'd be so happy.
salvation This man I've been ruining His customers are flocking His business has been booming We need refrigeration in our new control display So we we'll close for renovation today Yes indeed, this is the flower shop you heard about on the channel 5 News Yes, the other two is on display exclusively here Let's do the decoration Cause what you have is smiling So now we're too far painting I would call 
ladies, my line of work requires a certain fascination with human pain and suffering. <laughs> this stuff is great. Allow me to explain. When I was younger, just a bad little kid, my mama noticed funny things I did. Like shooting puppies with a BB gun. <laughs> I'd poison guppies, and when I was done, I'd find a pussy cat fresh in his head. That's when my mama said, What did she say? She said, My boy, I think someday you'll find a way to make your natural tendency to say, You'll be a dead. Talks to Audrey. God, Pimmel, Mama, 
can't just send him mulling out. No, no, she looks so unhealthy. It's enough to make you sick. If you left me, if Seymour left me, why did I be right back where I started to was? Broken stomach. Sweet, good and beautiful as she is, she deserves a prince, not a sadistic creep like him. Close to bankrupt. Oh, wow. The scepter fall and bereft. That's what I'd be if Seymour left. She's a disgrace to the dental profession. Seymour? Ma'am. Seymour. Talked. You opened up your trap, you fainted, and 
you say this. Feed me, cruel woman, feed me now! I can't. I'm starving! Oh, well, maybe I can squeeze a little out of this one. <laughs> I need some food! No, I know, but you can't get blood from a... More! More! I don't got any more. What do you want me to do, slit my wrists? <sighs> <laughs> How about I run down to the corner and pick you up a nice chop sirloin? Must be blood! Tui, that's disgusting. Must be Fred! I don't want to hear this. Demon! Does it have to be human? Demon! Does it have to be mine? Demon! Well, where am I supposed to get it? Demon, see you tomorrow.
Yes, that's me, Dr. Scarvello. Do you have an appointment? We met yesterday. See more traveling? Oh, that's right. The guy with the plane. Right. And the band aid. Right. And the gun. Right. So why are you pointing the gun at me, Seymour? I, I... Are you a little bit nervous about seeing a damn tear? No, you don't, you don't understand. I'm not nervous. It's only gonna hurt a little. You don't understand. I don't want my teeth examined. Of course you want your teeth examined, Seymour. Say, ah! Uh, no! Say, ah! Uh, no! Uh. <laughs> You're impacted. You're upset. You're gonna need a complete oral examination. <laughs> I am. Stop with that wisdom tooth. No, just spit that little bugger out of there. What do you say, Seymour? I Simon? gotta go. There is always time for dental hygiene, Seymour. Have you ever seen the results of a neglected mouth? Look, Seymour, this can happen to you. <laughs> Unless I take immediate action. So that's a start. Well, aren't you gonna use something like Novocaine? What for? Dulls the senses. Why, it'll hurt. Only till you pass out. <laughs> What's that? That's the drill, Seymour. Hey, it's rusty. It's an antique. They don't make instruments like this anymore. Sturdy, heavy, dull. This is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a pleasure. I think I'm going to want some gas for this one. Gas? Nitrous oxide. Oh, thank God. I thought you weren't going to use it. <laughs> oh, Seymour, the gas isn't for you. It's for me. I find that a little giggle gas before we begin increases my pleasure enormously. In fact, I think I'll use my special gas mask for this one. You just relax, Seymour. I'll be with you in a moment. Stupid, the time's ideal, and the moment is super tall, ready to fire, and the world is too fast to Now, do it now, just a flick of pressure right here on this trigger, and Audrey won't have to come with that pig for another day. Fire, I can finish it with simple but there. No! Oh, the 
minute, Valtteri. I want to show you something. Can it wait till tomorrow? It won't take long. I've been shopping for a new wardrobe like you told me to. And I think you're going to like it. <coughs> what do you think?
not very funny, Mom. You knew he disappeared. Just 
get you with me. I made you and I can break you. Go ahead, break me. You think it's easy living with the guilt? Oh, cut the crap. Bring on the meat. Yeah, if only you ain't meat. If only a touch of mouth supplies, but no, you're so particular. Come on, girl, Lord. I ain't this is mushy. Get out of the way you go. Look, just hold out one more night, can you? That's all I ask. Life magazine will be here in the morning to take up pictures. And then you'll find me somebody. Then you'll never be hungry again. I promise. Little 
I've done terrible things, but not to you, Audrey, not to you. Why, with the right advertising, this thing could be bigger than Hulu. 